Even if he can, it's not the easiest of pots. Yeah, it's one of those that is risky. And to get on a cull, you'd have to play with a bit of side. I think if he could hit it full in the face, he may well just kick the red back up the table. He's had a look at the red this corner, but that's too risky. And the last thing he wants, he wants to do is gift wrap chances to his opponent at this stage of the match. Well, he decided he could do it, just flick the green. Well, it's okay. He's flicked the green, but left himself a nice angle. And that red just above the black, he's waiting. And played it perfectly. Good shot. So just what you need Four. in a decider. First chance. Five. Yeah, he made a mistake previous. He didn't play for the pink. He played for the black. Nineteen. He's misjudged that positional shot, so he got first chance, but he's not going to get any more than 19 off it. It's even a bad score at Crib. Mark Williams, 19. Mm, it was a good safety shot. Very good. Didn't put the black in a safe position, which is good, but in another way, it stopped uh, Mark Williams going uh, over that side. Unless he just rolls up to it. Yeah. Oops, it's fallen off a bit. Oh, that makes things awkward now. That red goes past the black. That's right next to it, but then you can't do nothing about it. He's not going to play a plant there, surely. One red onto the other. It's funny, though, isn't it? when you look from behind the pocket, you're like, oh, simple plant. It's got to cover this red, the one next to the black. Should be okay. 
full bar cover very good Well, he's very lucky if he's covered that. He miscued, he did, and he has covered it. Yeah, I thought it sounded funny when he queued it. And uh, for one moment, I thought he was going to knock the black in. This red that's just the right of the black spot will cut to the uh, corner. One thing he's got to be wary of is leaving the red that's just to the right of the black. Oh, well, that was, uh, well, he was thinking he might be able to play one red in off another, but uh, the main thing is he's got that blue covering the line to the red. Good stuff here now. It's uh, both players, of course, are a little bit edgy in the deciding frame of the first round of the Welsh Open. Nobody wants to get knocked out at that stage. Wow. Ooh, it's tight. Can't get to the pot and angle. He hit the red straight on, but not. Can't get to the, the right of it as we look. Again, no path through to it. Is it a plant? It was. Oh, and that's a little unlucky. Plant. In fact, if he can't hit a colour, that's very unlucky. Brown ball. Dominating the brown, he knows if he hits it. He'll leave the cue ball near the ball cushion. Couldn't have played it much better than that. Oh, that's excellent now. Made it awkward queuing. So he may get the next chance. Foxes, Mark. Didn't panic and played that containing safety shot as good as you could have played it. Red too thick, went into the uh, pack of reds. What's he left here now? The black's gone safe, of course, but the pink's out in the open. Whether it goes back in his own spot is another matter. Oh, 
He's had a few good looks there. Looks like it's a straight plant here. Too bothered by the pink. One. No. Oh. Good start, yeah? Got to be careful now with his position of play. Pretty good throughout the match. Six. Big moments now in the fledgling career. Kishan Irani. Could make a name for himself here. It's a poor positional shot, though. Seven. Wrong side of the blue, close to the cushion. A lot of work to do with the cue ball to get close to the next intended red. Here. Oh, tremendous shot. Oh, very unfortunate. <laughs> Those type of shots, he's got to hit it quite hard and hit it down into the cue ball. A very, very missable shot, but you've got to make sure you pot the blue. If you lose position, you still got the opportunity, of course, to uh, play a shot and keep things safe. He's looking at another plant there. He had one to start this break. Just haven't got the right position. So important when you're under extreme pressure. Okay, nine, twelve. Yeah, it was a good chance, and he'd be disappointed he didn't get more. As Terry said, as long as you pot the ball, you get the chance to play the next shot. And, well, Mark's already hit one of these two full. But not that one. One. Well, Kiss on the Blue has left the cue ball in the middle of the table. It's not the perfect position on the colour, but at least the red went in. Got to be careful here. I don't know how close this cue ball might go to the left middle pocket here when potting the green. It's going to go. Well, he maybe played with a little bit of check and played it really well. And this is possibly oh. where his greater experience and ring craft will come in. You'll feel the pressure, but you just get the feeling with all his experience, he'll cope with it a lot better than Kishan did on his last visit. It's like he's thinking when the pinks be spotted, it won't go on its own spot. And it'll go on the black spot possibly and be tied up. So it could make things a little bit awkward. He'll be hoping that the pink is on the black spot. This is a big decision here. The referee thinks it does go on the black spot which looks as though it ties the pink up. Eleven, sorry. And if that's the case, he's really only got yellow, green or blue to play for. Desperately hoping that pink went on the blue spot. Not to be.
12. Man, another difficult shot here, positional shot anyway, you should pot the yellow. Only just. Okay. 20 points in front. But once again, well, he could play across the uh, blue and green here and bring the blue into play. Oh. 15. <laughs> oh. Dear me. There's a few of these that are definitely what we call wiping the feet. This red, I mean, 17. That pace, I'm amazed it went in. Gotta be honest. But there's a 18. couple of opportunities that Mark could have played for green or blue and got the blue particularly to get it on its spot, but he's quite happy to chip away at this yellow. And slowly but surely. He's building up that frame winning lead, but that needs to run on a bit. Don't think he's Point. far enough. He's not. Play for the red just to the right of the pink. He won't fancy the one along the top cushion. That's much too risky. Got a 26 point lead. I mean, if the pink isn't kissing into another red, I wouldn't mind playing the red this the other side of the pink. You, you're guaranteed a good cue ball. Try and find the ball cushion and use the green and blue as a blocker. He doesn't fancy that. Suppose he thought, well, the only red I could leave was the one I'm playing. He didn't try. He's just trying to get a red off the table, really. I could understand his resistance to bring the pink into play. Pink at the moment and the black tied up. Why make it easier for your opponent? That, so I assume that Mark can't see enough of the red on the other side of the pink. He, he's obviously can see the other red, this straight red, which he can't get on. Those two reds are a definite plant into the corner pocket. do well not to leave a pot on if he plays on the right hand side of those two reds. There's no straightforward safety here. Any of the ball around the times, you know, he's uh, he played the right shot there, rolling up behind the black, there's no other option. Now, is he going to try and roll the red in off the side cushion? There's a straight red there. You can put it in the right corner. I mean, it's a really difficult shot. So he's just trying to skim this. Oh, he's missed it. Oh. I mean, after a look at this again, there's something happened here, I can tell you. You said the pink. Oh, absolutely. I, I mean, unless my eyes and your eyes are deceiving me, I don't... It wasn't given. I don't... Well, 
that's amazing. As I say, I mean, it looked as though the red he was trying to clip very thin. He didn't hit. But knowing Mark as I do, if it, if it, maybe he did flick it, because I'm sure he does. Said to the referee, look, that was a foul. One. Now it's just a cozy up behind the green and blue. And 27 oh, point lead. Can you see it? Can we see it? Well, I saw nothing move but the pink there. Well, it's just dropped in. So it's still in, right in this frame. If he pops the blue, we go 21 points behind. I can't see a colour that he could pot and get the snooker, so I think that's why he's considering just playing the snooker behind the pink. Thinking, and this is one of the problems it's with the mystery, one. he might get more points out of misses than uh, he will out of pot in the blue. Although it's quite a big target. And it's a good hit. Now then. Does Kishan take the ball by the horns here? Play a good safety and try and bring these three balls into play. Like to try and get in behind the brown. Don't let the pinks in the way, though. Don't let the pinks in the way. It was. So Mark Williams gets his chance to clinch frame and match. Still needs the last red, which is why he's playing the snooker. Mark Williams won. 27 points, the lead. 35 remaining. This red does cut, but it's dangerous if he misses it. He has missed it, but it's run safe. But you look where the colours are. 27 points lead or not. If Kishan Arani gets next chance, he could be favourite for the match.
Main priority here, get the object all safe. Do not leave a sniffer a pot. Do not leave a sniff at a pot, because that could be your last shot in this year's Welsh Open. And it will be. Mark's anxiously looking to the path of the cue ball, but it's no problem. And he's got the black to follow. So every credit to... Kishan Harani. I think at the end of the day, Terry, just that little bit of inexperience, not playing at this level that often, has just caught him out. Eight. Yes, I agree with that. He's up against a very tough competitor, obviously, and I think he's done exceptionally well in Ten. getting to decide in frame, but he may be a little bit disappointed now. He had half a chance in this frame. Seventeen. Twenty-two. Mark Williams looks as if he doesn't mind if he loses, but uh, don't you ever believe it. Oh. Well, 